down. They look to Watts. UConn with a two-point lead. They let Watts have the good look. He puts Washington up by one in the final seconds. UConn, as Slick Watts looked on, would try to win it. Vossel sets the high screen. Collin goes right, takes it inside, back to Vossel, has to force it up. No good, it's tipped up, grabbed by Hamilton. No good, it's tipped up, it's tipped up. Hamilton puts the fadeaway up, and in, it's the buzzer! A heartbreaking loss for Washington, which took its first and only lead of the game with 29 seconds to go on that shot by Watson, then watched. Connecticut's Rip Hamilton, the Big East Player of the Year, with the third putback. All the rebounding power Washington had all game long. Biggest win since Magic was there in 79. But Magic couldn't help the poor three-point shooting by the Spartans here. Terrible 0 for 10 in the first half. Well, anytime you're going to shoot like that out of the gate, you need some help. They should have got Magic on the floor. He has two more years of eligibility. Coda to Carter right there. And then Coda, the playmaker. Oh, they love throwing that lob. Up it goes. Mr. Jameson, Jam City, 20 and 14. Roy Williams now a spectator watching his son Scott school, Carolina. Second half, the threes begin to fall for the Spartans. Charlie Bell, a 16-6 run, got it down to four. Spartans hanging around, but then... Too much Tar Heels. Carter, the baseline. He has hit some big shots in this tournament. In the end, it was Tar Heels to the woodshed, 73 to 58, as they took on the Mountaineers. West, inside to Brian Lewin, who hits over Michael Doliak. West Virginia back within five in the second half. After four Brent Solheim free throws, gives Utah just a one-point lead. The Mountaineers force Utah into a five-second call. Majerus leaning on the defense in the second half, with the offense really sputtering. Lewin to West, the hero of the last round. Front rims the shot. Andre Miller the rebound. They don't foul. They let the clock run down to eight. Then the ball goes out of bounds. And finally, on the inbound after a timeout, West Virginia fouls Michael Doliak. He hits a couple of free throws. So the lead is three in the final seconds. West, can he be the hero again? Going to his left for the tie. Doesn't get it. Front rims the shot. And Utah escapes despite not getting a field goal in the last nine plus could beat the defending national champions. And very early on, Arizona not alert. Mike Bibby hitting Miles Simon in the chest. Cats less than inspiring start. They would wake up though. Passing, sets up the Bibby triple. 18 in the first half for Bibby. I'll tell you, he was brilliant in the first half. Only 19 points in his first two tournament games. But in this one, he was dominant. Also on the defensive end. Best point guard in basketball. Let the love, Jam City. Bennett Davison with the finish. In the second half, though, Maryland would go on a run. LaRon Crockett down low. The land, the foul. Maryland has momentum. They get within one. But Arizona prevailing. So cool. Not letting the Terrapins ever take the lead. Simon Dickerson, the lay in, the foul. Arizona advances. It's been a much easier path than it was last year at this time. 87, 79 bit. But Anthony Carter is having a much beleaguered 90 off the steal from Carter. Tremaine Folks dunks. He had 25 points. Bulldogs up by two. But we're tied 83 late second half. And here's Carter with a wide open dunk and go! Oh! Misses Big miss, so Fresno State shot two free throws to go up to and Carter for the tie. Short. And the Bulldogs win, 85-83. Jerry Tarkanian excited. The lead changed hands five times in the final five minutes. So Fresno State wins in Hawaii's Sheriff Center and now moves on to New York City. Who boy. The Bulldogs will face Minnesota. And down to four. Then Ryan Blackwell at the line. Elder of China there. His second putback ties the game at 49. Syracuse all the way back in the game. But here comes Duke. William Avery doubled. Gets it inside to Elton Brand, and he was the key. I'll tell you, Chris, what was the key was basically the three diaper dandies, Battier, Avery, and Mr. Brand dominated. That's Battier with the baseline jumper right there. Avery again. Coach Joe on the bench, and Avery stepped up. They went on an 11-zip run. All points scored by the three diaper dandies. Here's Alan Griffin missing the lay-in. Finally, Batsy had a heads-up play as he taps it ahead to Chris Carwell for the lay-in. A 17-3 Duke run, and the Blue Devils win it by 13, ending the Orangeman Cinderella hopes. Strongly, although you have to feel that even if Davis was there, Kentucky just had way too much. The steal and the lay-in, that's Wayne Turner. Kentucky's defense smothering in the early minutes here. Henderson gets it down low, blocked by McGlure. Turner brings it up. 
to Padgett, to Shepard, who's been shooting well in this tournament. Spots up, knocks it down, and Lavin knows he is in way over his head early on in this game. The second half, Bruins just sloppy. Cats forcing him into desperation. Passes like that. That was Watson who's been trying to fill in for Davis unsuccessfully. Allen Edwards brings it up. The Turner with the leaner gets it to go. UCLA's trio of seniors, Chris Johnson, Bailey, and Henderson, they have rings in their careers, but they go out and a downer as Kentucky wins it 94 tonight. Arthur Lee, the fine guard for Sanford, misses the shot. Jaron Collins tips it, gets it back, and scores at the buzzer for the first half. The Cardinal led by 11. Second half, watch how rough things get down here. I'll tell you one thing, very physical, no doubt about it. Look, there's the doctor, fight doctor, take care of him. Hey, Arthur Lee struggled, Wing struggled, three for 23, yet they're in the hunt here because they were really on the glass. Miller scores there. Guys scuffling after Miller, trying to stop the bleeding. He's a fight doctor having to go back at him time and time again. Mark Madsen on the floor. Finally, the wild shot does go right there. Cardinal, foul, completes the three-point play, gets Purdue back within three. It's still a three-point game with a minute six to go, and David Mosley, a rough shooting night, but a huge three right there. Gene Cady denied the final four once again. Game's first eight minutes, but this nice little move faking out Antonio Reynolds Dean. Valpo led by eight. Then a quick five point possession keyed by this. They call this acting job an intentional foul. Bob Jenkins on the forearm right there. It was a five point possession. And then Rhode Island would go in a big run to end the half. Homer Drew's team down five at the break in the second half. Luther Clay ahead of the field. It was an 11 point Rhode Island lead. Bryce Drew bringing him back. Down five. Nailed the triple the Crusaders down two. Rhode Island battling back and Tony O Reynolds Dean was huge inside unheralded member of this team fights gets the put back URI back up four. Drew trying to prolong his college career knocks down the long triple suddenly it's back to a three-point game but Valpo not enough Drew's shot last attempt of his career falls short a hug between friends and Jim Herrick moves on the step up went through number one seed Arizona. First half, Arizona Cole. Simon says, miss. One of nine in the game. Mike Bibby, copycat. Three of 15 for the contest. Lute Olson wondering what was going on with his squad. On the other end, Andre Miller stops, pump fakes. The leaner, high off the glass. Utah up 15 8 early. More Wildcat Rose. Michael Dickerson, air ball. Arizona was 8 for 29 from the field in the half. Utah up nine. Second half, Utah. Utah comes out strong. Miller, the lob over the defense to Hannah Metala. Who lays it home. Utah goes up 11. Arizona tries to get back in it. Down 16. Simon for three. Nope. Miller grabs the rebound, dashes down the floor. The dish to Alex Jensen. He lays it in for two of his 11. Utah pulling away. More Miller. He loves the pump fake. Out of the double team drives baseline. He scores. Rick Majerus loving the situation. Arizona puts on the press. No problem. Miller up the floor by himself. This is to Doliak. Yes. Gets up. He throws down and let the celebration begin. Yes. Enjoy it all. Dickerson's expression speaks for itself, though. Majerus going to his first Final Four as a head coach. You got to believe in Utah is on the way as they cut down the nets. The West Regional Champs. It's tough to win when you shoot 28%. Basketball, let's concentrate while we're out there. Let's take care of business. And the heels did. Vince Carter gets the pass, gets up, and gets down on the Husky D. Then Richard Hamilton, the air ball. Ed Cota gets it. Long pass to Vince Carter. Show me something, Vince. Heels up by fourth a half to the second half. Richard Hamilton had to leave the game with a hip injury. He would come back. 5.40 left. UConn down four. Khalid El Amin, the drive and the foul. He had 24. Three-point play. UConn's within one. 4.45 left. UConn down one. Rip Hamilton misses the three. Shimon Williams, the board. Long pass to Vince Carter. Watch the touch to Antoine Jameson. Two of his 20. Roy Williams watching, cheering. Then the heels up by seven. Eddie Cota stealing Ricky Moore's pass. Ahead to Shimon Williams. Williams, who lays it in. Williams had 19. Carolina and Bill Guthridge cutting down the nets. Guthridge, the winningest rookie coach ever, 34 and 3. And Mokhtar Jai hoping to make some sweet music in San Antonio. The Tar Heels in the final four for the fifth time this.
can't get the three, gets the rebound, and gets the return favor. Devils on a 17 to nothing run. They led 36 to 20. Late in the first half, lead cut to eight. Shane Battier, baseline, Duke up 10. They would lead by 10 at halftime. Late in the second half, here come the Wildcats. Down just three, Wayne Turner. Wayne Turner had a tremendous game. Goes by Wojo, gets it to go. A 19 to three run. The lead is now one, under three minutes to go. Cameron Mills didn't have a hoop until this one. Biggest one of the game for him. Mills first bucket of the tourney. 80 to 79 Kentucky. 45 seconds on the clock. Turner, Scott Padgett, touches nothing but the bottom of the net. Cats go up three. 10 seconds to go. Duke down four. Rashawn McLeod, big game, big shot. Blue Devils within one. Four and a half seconds to go. Duke down two. Battier to William Avery. And Kentucky exacts some revenge. Tubby Smith is going to the Final Four for his first time. And what a great season it's been living in the shadow of Rick Pitino. He goes to the Final Four, 86-84. Coach, second half, Rhode Island up by five. Tyson Wheeler, the crossover, he hesitates, he drives and scores, he had 24 points. Rhode Island up by seven, now 32 seconds left. Stanford had cut it to one. Arthur Lee ripping off Catino Mobley. Mark Madsen picks it up, he's going hard to the rack, plus the foul. Jim Herrick is disputatious. Mark Madsen likes things very much. Take another look. Was there a foul? Lee reaching, stripping the ball. Did he graze his Herrick thought? After the made free throw, Stanford was up by two points. Rhode Island ball now. Antonio Reynolds Dean looking for Wheeler. Antonio Reynolds Dean thought Wheeler was seated courtside. Stanford would add a free throw. URI down three. Wheeler looking to shoot the three, got fouled on it. Fouled by Lee shooting the three. So Stanford's bench quite nervous. Lee thinks he's innocent. Wheeler, 67% shooter from the line, doinks the first one. Stanford likes that. Wheeler, the second. Newbie, missed the second. Jim Herrick can't take it. Now he has to miss the third on purpose, try to tip it out for the three. He does the first part, but he tips it out of bounds, and Stanford knows it's done. Now, after being fouled and making the first free throw, Lee buries the second. He was 26 for 26 in the tourney from the line. And Arthur Lee is king of the dorms, the man for Stanford. Stanford goes to 30 and 4 this season in the Final Four for the first time since 19. His son Gigi played for Georgia. First half, Penn State up 13 9. Jarrett oh. Stevens is hammered by Larry Brown. Stevens hurt his left knee on the play. He would not return. Later in the first, Joe Crispin, nice behind the back. But 18 points for Crispin, 17 11, Nittany Lions. Second half, Penn State by seven. Joe Nordine trying to be a player. Calvin Booth got his GED, his play a hated degree. Booth had five blocks. Late second half, Georgia making a run. Gigi high off the glass. Two of his seven points. Georgia trails by two, but Pete Masicki, money with the three. He had 13 points, just four of 11 shooting. Bad night shooting. That three was huge. Cruise to their T. Semis Fresno and Minnesota. Terrence Robinson ties up Quincy Lewis with his leg. Then he kicks him. That's a T, his fifth foul. Fresno State down to one scholarship, down to six scholarship players. Gophers take advantage. Sam Jacobson, get at me, dog. Part of an eight zip run. Jacobson at 24. Bulldogs come back. 55 seconds left. Chris Heron to Rafer Austin. Rafer thought he was in the NBA. That three was so long. One of 12 Fresno State threes. 12 seconds left. Gophers down three. Kevin. Clark, who had all nine of his free throws, missed the three. But Lewis got outside and rips the cords. He had 19 points, but only six of 17 shooting. We go to overtime. In overtime, Jacobson inside for the strong two. Gophers 10 for 10 from the foul line in overtime. They're up three. 25 seconds left. Chris Heron drives. Miles Tarver moving his feet, playing some wicked defense. Tarver had only three points, but his D was sick. Gophers win it. For Harris, seven points and one of eight shooting. Kevin Clark trying to get ill. My man came into the NIT averaging 10 points per game. He had a career high 30 in the semis. He missed that one, but he just needed traffic. No diggity. Clark, 12 points in the first half. Second half, Sam Jacobson. Ah, upset. Jacobson had 23 gophers up big. Kevin Clark, the transfer from Crowley City Community College in Kansas, getting his swerve, his freak, and his Mac on. 28 points, tournament MVP, Eric Harris giving up the love to Clem Haskins, their second 
from the opening tip, Utah strong. Hanno Medela, first shot for Utah. He knocks it down, one of only two field goals for Medela. Drew Hansen for three, his only field goal, 6-0. Jordy McTavish for three, his only field goal, a 15-2 opening for Majerus and the Utes. It'll be a 13-point game at the half. North Carolina, though, would not fold. Down 11, nine minutes to play. Antoine Jameson from Shamond Williams. Only 14 points, though, for Jameson. Just over two minutes left. Ed Coda drives and hits. Eight points, seven assists. North Carolina down by two. Less than two minutes left. Utah, Andre Miller, seven for 15, 16 points. Utah back up by four. Six-point game, 42 seconds remaining. Miller knocks it off Coda's knee. Utah ball, and yes, it's happened. Utah, a giant killer again. North Carolina is done shooting three for 23 from three. Utah upset in the WAC quarters, now winning five straight in the big dance, 65. And uh, I'm totally grateful that I got this opportunity. And uh, wherever my decision is, uh, you know, it was just emotions just going through me at the end of the game. I think we knew coming in we could play with these guys. Um, we uh, had a great game against Arizona, and we knew that if we play our defensive game, that, uh, that we can hang with anybody because uh, it's uh, a lot different when we play our, our strong defense. We really shut teams down and make them, and make them uh, struggle offensively. It's certainly not a given that, that the good teams are going to get here, and you know, there are a lot of teams that don't, and I'm, I'm proud of our team and, and their ability to come through and get here. And I wish we could have found a way to, to win tonight, but I think we have to. Second half. Kentucky down four. Jeff Shepard steals from the aforementioned Peter Sauer, who then fouls him hard, and then he crashes into the camera. 9 of 15 shooting. Kentucky would lead by as much as four. 30 seconds left. Stanford down three. Finally, here will Arthur Lee. Four three. Clutch three. 26 points. Game not at 73. Under 10 seconds left. Kentucky for the win. Wayne Turner. No. Stanford calls timeout with 1.1 ticks left. Hubby Smith anxious. Would it happen again? Six years to the day that Duke beat Kentucky in a last second shot, but Chris Weems. No. We go to overtime. 130 left in the OT. Wildcats up one. Jeff Shepard. Four three-pointers, including this one. 27 points. Career high. Wildcats up four. Now 25 seconds left. Chris Weems continues shooting problems. Six of 23 in this game. Mad Dog Mark Maxson. 16 rebounds. One there. but gets it to Arthur Lee. Who's blocked by Jamal McGlore. And Mike Montgomery sees things slipping away. After a Shepard free throw put the Cats up four. Peter Sauer from New Braunfels, please. Way downtown, he had 10 points. Stanford down just a point, 86-85. Stanford fouls Wayne Turner with 2.5. He missed both. No timeout. Sauer's got to let it fly one more time, and Kentucky holds on to win. The final, 86-85, advancing to their third consecutive. In its third straight final, first half, Utah going early, controlling the boards off the Jeff Shepard miss. Michael Doliak. Just gives Kentucky one shot. Andre Miller to Luke Jensen, the hoop plus the foul. Utah out rebounded Kentucky 24 6 in the first half. Rick Majerus crew up 10 at the half. Utah one half away. Second half, Kentucky coming back. Seven minutes left. Cameron Mills nailing the three. Game tied at 58 apiece. Next possession. Jeff Shepard playing some D. Playing big D, ripping it off. Reverse skate. Kentucky's first lead since 11-8. Up by two with just seven minutes left. The Utes are right back in it. Andre Miller, fancy, through the legs, through the middle. Utah up 62-60. to And Tubby Smith trying to get it done, as his team had so often in the tournament and through the season. Coming back, Kentucky once again. Wayne Shepard going baseline. Short jumper's good. Kentucky's up by a point. And Rick Majerus now wondering if it has slipped away for good. Utah going cold. Miller, my bad. He clanks it in short. Utah desperate. Under a minute, down eight. Miller, the three, off badly. Kentucky's going the other way. Ahead to Wayne Turner. He's in alone, and the celebration is on. Kentucky has done it again in the championship. Three-year state, winning it two out of the last three. Kentucky Wildcats are champions of the NCAA once again. Kentucky went 11 to 12 from the line down the stretch in this thing. Utah hit just one basket over the final 540.